Welcome, foolish mortals, to another episode of the Hitchhiking Host Show. I am your host, your ghost host, <laughs> West Troop. Well, let's see what went down in the Disney parks this week, shall we? Because we're going to talk about the trending topics. Let's do it. <laughs> The Muppets have arrived at the Magic Kingdom for the opening of their new live show, The Muppets Present, Great Moments in American History. The new show is hosted by human character James J.J., no, not J.J. Walker, Jefferson, town crier of Liberty Square, as well as Sam Eagle, and features favorite characters such as Kermit the Frog, Miss Piggy, Fozzie Bear and Gonzo recounting famous historical tales such as the signing of the Declaration of Independence and the Midnight Ride of Paul Revere. The show takes place several times daily right outside of the Hall of Presidents and features interactive elements as well as an original song. So, if you haven't seen uh, the video of it, or if you haven't seen it in person, because some people are lucky enough you know, to be there, um, Definitely check it out. It's on YouTube. You can find it online. There's two different shows that are up online. You got uh, the Paul Revere episode and the Declaration of Independence. I watched both. They're about 10 minutes long, the show. It's not super long, so you're not just standing outside of the Hall of Presidents for an hour um, and watching everyone go by into the Haunted Mansion, and then you turn to uh, the show's over, and then the Haunted Mansion line's an hour long. Uh, (laughs) But, uh, yeah, you know, I really like this idea. Um, I feel like Liberty Square only has a couple things. There, I mean, (laughs) Haunted Mansion, of course, being the Hitchhiking Ho Show, one of the best things in the park. But, um, you know, Hall of Presidents has its fans, of course. Um, but not a whole lot of people, you know, it's not your pirates. It's not, (laughs) it's not like up there with that. Um, but, uh... Yeah, I think that's a great. It's bringing new attention to Liberty Square, where everyone's like, oh, we got to go to Liberty Square, other than just the Haunted Mansion, um, to check out this Muppet show. Um, yeah, I, it's about time Liberty Square gets a little bit of um, more people going checking stuff out. Some new stuff in Liberty Square. And I like the idea of the Muppets uh, for, up at the windows, because then, you know, we don't have to spoil the magic. Um, yeah, I like the Muppets being in the parks more. I think it's a good idea all around. Um, and it fits in with the Liberty Square, with the history of America. I'm sure they'll do some more shows, um, if it's popular and people keep stopping and checking it out. So hopefully, um, it's good to go. I enjoyed the, uh, the Muppets, uh, present show. Also, Walt Disney World celebrated its 45th operating year on Saturday, October 1st commemorating the occasion with a special appearance by Walt Disney World President George Kalogridis. You think I know how to say that? Kalogridis? Uh, whatever. He doesn't, he doesn't pay my bills. <laughs> Who teased some big announcements happening between now and 2021. Oh, God, I hope I'm alive. <laughs> but declined to give specifics. As well as some special treats and merchandise, which of course are available all around the resort. Guests who attended the event also got a free special commemorative map. Wow, could they spare anything? And button. Whoa, oh, okay, a button. Okay, button, button, who's got the button? Upon entry to the Magic Kingdom. There were also some special 45th anniversary decorations around the park, including a banner on the Cinderella Castle that didn't quite unfurl on cue, but was fixed eventually. Though the 45th anniversary of Walt Disney World didn't really see any new openings for the parks, other than the great American history with the Muppets, uh, in the remarks that George Kalo Gritis whatever, did say that there were some big things planned for the resort's golden anniversary in 2021. The 50th anniversary, you know, West Troop gotta be there. But, um, yeah, hopefully. (laughs) 
uh, hopefully, yeah, hope, I'm excited to see what the future holds for Magic Kingdom, for Walt Disney World, for Disneyland. We know a little bit of the schedule. We know we got Avatar Land coming. We got that Guardians of the Galaxy ride in uh, California. We got uh, Star Wars Land, of course, on both coasts. But uh, other than that, we don't know a whole lot of what's coming. So hopefully there'll be some announcements soon uh, for anything other than those. Oh, Toy Story Land, we know is coming too. But uh, yeah, other than that, we're not really sure. So hopefully some big announcements will be coming before the year 2021. <laughs> but we'll see, we shall see. The current Disney Visa character spot at Innoventions West looks like it will be closing soon, much like the rest of Innoventions. Not the whole pavilion, but a lot of it inside is closing, as Disney Visa character spot signage has recently appeared in the Imagination Pavilion. This relocated character experience will take over the former Figment's Place portion of the pavilion. That is a lot of P's. Figment's place portion of the pavilion, yow, and is expected to feature the same characters who formerly met at the Innoventions location. So, if you're part of that Disney Visa stuff, you go and meet, get your special meet and greet, now you do it over at the Imagination Pavilion. Yes, where, oh god, my childhood died. <laughs> anyway, all right. I love the original Journey into Imagination, if you didn't realize that comment. All right. October 1st also brought a limited time character experience to Disney Springs, known as the Princess Royal Reception. The new experience is currently scheduled through November 1st and allows guests to meet, take photos with, and even get an autograph, wow, from a single princess in a special closed off area of the world of Disney where the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique used to be. The princess lineup will be changing regularly, so you're never really sure who you're gonna meet. Guests who wanna meet a surprise princess at Disney Springs will be given a special pager that will buzz to let them know when it is time to go meet the princess directly. Wow, that would have been really nice, you know, maybe back in 2014, when I had a five hour line for Anna and Elsa. That would have been nice to have a pager, yeah. Um, don't worry, I didn't wait in the five hour line. Anyway, uh, I just did a death sprint the next day and waited for 20 minutes and just pushed kids out of the way. But um, yeah, so, um, you know, though the experience is currently scheduled to stop at the end of the month, it could easily be extended if popular. I like this idea because, um, you know, some kids don't go to the parks all the time. If they live close to Florida, well, you could, but I mean, if they're shopping or whatever and you want to meet a princess, I like the idea of bringing the characters into Disney Springs because a lot of the times they just say, oh, you want to meet her? You got to go to the parks. But you can get a surprise meet with the, uh, you don't know which one it is unless you hear people talking in line. Oh, it's this person. Um, but uh, yeah, I like that idea. All right. Also, speaking of Disney Springs, News broke that confirmed that a third parking garage for Disney Springs will be built over the next few years. The Reedy Creek Improvement District has officially given the project a green light and construction on the new garage to be located on the south side of Buena Vista Drive near the Casting Center and Speedway Gas Station is currently slated to begin sometime in 2017 with an anticipated opening date of 2019. So they're taking their good old time with this one. <laughs> the new garage is expected to accommodate at least 2,000 parking spaces and will provide direct access to Disney Springs via the already constructed pedestrian bridge that spans across Buena Vista Drive. Similar to the orange and lime garages, this new parking structure will feature the same parking sensor technology that allows guests to see how many parking spaces are available on each level before they enter the garage. I'll save you time, it's probably zero. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, another parking garage. Yay, why not? All right, and finally, 
If you are an annual pass holder, listen up. As part of the 45th anniversary celebration, it was announced that effective immediately, annual pass holders now receive 20% off Walt Disney World merchandise and 10% off food and non-alcoholic beverages at table service restaurants at the theme parks and Disney Resort hotels. In addition, Disney is offering a 20% dining discount at 45 table service and quick service restaurants around the resort. Of course, you got to check which ones. I'm not going to list 45 restaurants here. <laughs> check for yourself, you lazy bums. <laughs> Disney has also confirmed that guests who purchase a new annual pass between today, today, right now, and January 3rd, 2017, will be able to get one extra month of admission for free, effectively getting 13 months of park entry for the price of 12. I was going to say, here's where they bump it up, what it would cost for an extra month. <laughs> so, oh yeah, you got that for free, but we're going to raise it a couple hundred dollars. Um... So, yeah, um, very cool. If you are an annual pass holder, definitely check out those deals. All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back with another show next week where we'll see what happens in the Disney parks, as well as another Hitchhiking Ho Show 101 in just a few days about another Disney attraction. But until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Hitch Show. You can like the show on Facebook, Facebook.com slash Hitch Show. Follow on the Twitter at Hitch Show. And if you want to listen to the show or you are listening to the show, you can do so on Podbean. It's Hitch Show.podbean.com. And of course, you can also search on iTunes or Stitcher under West Troop or the Hitchhiking Ho Show. Until next time, don't forget to. for the next episode. See ya.